Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm doing a story time today. Please comment down below and all that good stuff. And don't forget to subscribe. It's Mother's Day, so I'm a mum. So, you know, as a present to me, please subscribe. And those of you that's already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, I decided to do a story time. Um, the kids gave me some gifts earlier. Let me see if I can show you. I have a card and some beautiful flowers over there. And I had some chocolates and my favourite popcorn. So that was great. I've just literally come out of the shower. It's Sunday, so I've just washed my hair. I thought I'll give you a story time. Story time of my life. Now, I... Grew, I was born in the early 70s. Um, not long after I was born, we immigrated to Dominica. Um, I'd like to say we stayed in Dominica till I was about four. So from early birth till about four, I was living in Dominica. We flew back to London to stay in to live with my dad around after that time I remember coming to London and I do remember being that age and feeling really cold I remember one thing my dad said to me is stamp your feet and rub your hands together that's one thing that I definitely do remember anyway we lived with my dad in Paddington um, we stayed in a hotel for a couple of months then my dad got us a little place to live um, and that's why I like marmalade so much. We lived in a hotel for a while. Um, not long after that, my dad met my stepmom. Next minute, I knew they were getting married. She had two boys, which was teenagers. Me and my sisters was just very little girls. Um, she's actually the one that put me into dance. I started dance at five years old after my dad brought a brought a house for all of us um i started dance classes um yeah so we moved in with her then my dad brought a house then um we all lived there i continued on doing dance classes my brothers was just really mean they were really mean especially to my sisters i guess they weren't that mean to me because i was sort of like the favourite or the baby, should I say. So I was treated just like a baby, really. Anyway, I enjoyed my school um, and my friends, but I didn't really like being at home because home was quite stressful. Um, I loved going to dance. I remember going to dance for the first time and it was in an old church hall. And I walked in and I saw loads of little girls with leotards and ballet shoes and I was super excited and I never stopped ever since um so that is the one thing that I would say that my stepmother did do that that really stuck in my life the most um my brothers was really mean they were really mean to my sisters as I said especially um my stepmom got a cat and they thought it would stop me from being fearful of cats, but it just made my anxiety even worse. And I hated that cat so much, almost as much as I hated my stepbrothers for treating us the way they treated us, as well as my stepmom treated my sisters pretty badly. But as I said, I didn't really see the brunt of that because I was the baby of the house and everyone was so much older than me. Anyway, after that, they got divorced. My stepmother was trying to fight for custody of me because she believed that she raised me. So, um, you know, there was some sort of custody going on. But of course, I was biologically my father's. I didn't know my mother, um, but when I... I got to about 16 years old when I first met my mum and um, 
I don't know, I, I just wanted to get to know her. So I moved in with her for a couple of years and I'd done my final year at high school while I was living with her, but I really missed my dad. One thing that I would say is living with my mother, she didn't seem to really care what me and my brother, I had a younger brother, she had another child while she was away from us. Um, she didn't really care what me and my brother done so we were, we did have a lot of freedom to do what we wanted to do when we wanted to do it so i kind of missed rules and i kind of missed my dad because i wasn't really used to that type of living even though i was enjoying the freedom fast forward now i then decided to go back home and live with my dad um, but then I felt like I was still being treated like the baby. I was still being treated like I was five years old, whereas I was grown. Well, I thought I was grown at that time. And, um, yeah, so I missed the freedom that I did have at my mother's house. Anyway, things didn't quite work out at my mother's house. Um, so I lived with my dad and then I decided to move out because I thought I was grown. So I moved out and I jumped from hostel to hostel for a while. I even lived on the streets. I, I met some really interesting characters while I was on the streets. Believe it or not, I did live on the streets for a couple of months and I met some interesting people. They really took care of me. I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones that can say that. I didn't run into, you know, any anything really terrible while I was out there because I had people that what I surrounded myself with good people that was out there, I guess. Um then I moved into a ho another hostel for teenagers. I still didn't want to go home, but I was still in contact with my dad. We still went to the theatre together. He still gave me money and we still had a good time together and I still went down there. I would also visit my sisters who by then was mothers by then. Um, I then met my, um, my oldest daughter's dad while I was in a hostel situation um I fell pregnant not long after and I had Nicole um we were together for about four or five years and then that relationship broke down and he had immigration came for him and his brother and he had to move back home and I've raised Nicole ever since then I met um Dominique and Kylan's dad and we were together for 18 years I had Dominique and Kylan obviously during that time and yeah that's my life pretty much in a nutshell guys so I hope you enjoyed this vlog um I thought I'll just let you get to know me a little bit if you've got any questions please comment down